other people. Look, 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 See that? Third place featured screenplay. Bones. The bone in the tire. See this? Right here. Writer. Ashley Nettles. I'm doing this backwards, so bear with me. See, look at that. At the 2009 CSU Media Arts Festival. Third place. Haha. <laughs> it's it's a good feeling. It's fun, and it's um. It's 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 just knowing that that your 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 work is recognized for something. It took me a whole semester to come up with that story. That was for a class. That was a class project. I was supposed to come up with something. I came up with something. I came up with a really, really creepy idea because um, I have to thank my friend Tina for this because she's always constantly running over things. She's always constantly running over nails, screws, screwdriver. I think she ran over an uh, industrial size staple once. And um, as the Lord knows, I had, and uh, it's just, and the thought popped into my head. This is how sick and twisted my mind is. Is what if there was a piece of bone? Well, first the idea was, what if there was a bone just embedded into it? And I'm like, you know, I was playing with the idea. And my brother's like, Ashley, that's just stupid. Just, bone would not sh be embedded in a tire like that. It would shatter. And like, okay, what about a piece of bone? What about just a tiny piece of bone would be strong enough to do that? It's like, okay, maybe that will work. So that's where the idea came from, the whole bone of the tire, and, and it's kind of gruesome, and I think that's why we, I got recognized for it, and third place is great, and I got some recognition, somebody reckoned, somebody thought my work was good enough, and um, it does encourage me to keep going, and I want to write, I love writing, I love writing for television, I, I, like, I would love to write for a TV show, I'd like to come up with my own TV show if possible, and um, it would just be great, and the fact that I got this, the media art, and it's probably the biggest. Here, I'm going to read what it says on the, on the pamphlet. It said, it says, uh, we are the largest university system in the world. We're talking about the CSU system. And the Media Arts Festival is the largest university system-wide film festival in the country. Phil, that is important to expose our students to the work being done by their peers across the state and provide this forum for critical and peer review. So this year, this year's festival had 171 entries representing the 15, 15 campuses uh, from which 30 finalists came from 11 different campus, campuses. And let me just say, out of my school hosted this year, I was the only one on that list from my school. So no pressure. But it was just interesting, and then this is a cool thing. Student, students were, were chosen by faculty members from all the CS, CSUs, and then the finalists there were judged by actual industry professionals. And um, it's just weird that I had like professional writers who get paid to do this to actually read a script that I wrote for a school project. And um, who knows, maybe one day it'll get made. That'd be interesting. It'd be definitely a, uh, definitely a very interesting Bones episode. But I had fun. We had a great time. I had a great time. Watched some really, <laughs> watched some really strange movies, but they were good movies. A lot of good narratives. A lot of good documentaries. A lot of good animation. Yeah, animation on some of these things is really funny and really great and really just it just goes to show what our generation's gonna do and. Um, I had fun, and I hope anybody out there who actually went to this festival had fun, because I know they did. There was a lot of good things. There's a lot of funny things. There's this one little thing that they did called Extreme Dog Walking. There's this cute little clip of the dog, just the voiceover, just like, could I go for a walk, please? It, it's pretty funny, and um, I just hope to see more of my work in the future. I know you will, and um, I will. See you guys later. Hopefully I'll have a new song up in a couple of days. I'm still having trouble picking one, so we'll see. If you guys have any suggestions, that's pretty much it. So, see you.